Streaming live now on News8000.com. You're watching WKBT Lacrosse. This is News 8 Now at Noon. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us for News 8 Now at Noon. I'm Alexandra Carter. A Viroqua businessman is announcing his candidacy for Wisconsin's 96th Assembly District. Following the signing of new district maps by Governor Tony Evers, the 96th District now includes Vernon County and parts of Southern La Crosse County. Campbell currently owns Campbell Family Homes, which provides residential services to people with varying levels of disabilities. He serves on the Sign Design Review Board for the City of Viroqua and the Viroqua Chamber of Commerce board. He joins incumbent Lauren Oldenburg and former La Crosse County Board Chair Tara Johnson in the race. Workers have started cutting the wreckage of the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore into pieces in their effort to reopen the city's port after last week's catastrophic bridge collapse. Nicole Skanga is in Baltimore with the latest on what is now a 24-7 operation. Steel beams once vital to the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Maryland now surgically cut into pieces, part of a complex wreckage removal operation. It is a mangled, cantilevered mess. Colonel S.D. Pinchasen, unified commander of the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, says crews will scan an underwater superstructure of concrete and twisted metal after each cut. They're very careful that they're not going to send divers or equipment in without knowing for sure. They're, they're reducing the risk by not guessing. The bodies of two construction workers have been recovered. Four other victims are unaccounted for and presumed dead. The U.S. Coast Guard is now marking clear sections of the channel, possible passageways for smaller ships. U.S. Coast Guard Captain David O'Connell. I anticipate, you know, smaller draft commercial vessels, maybe some small tugs uh, in the next few days. With storms moving into the area, the container ship Dolly is being held down by four anchors attached to its stern, plus a tug. Officials call that a precautionary measure to ensure that the container ship does not swing out, causing further damage. As the investigation continues, we're learning more about the actions taken by police moments before the collision. They are heroes. They truly are. The head of the Maryland Transportation Authority Police Union credits three officers for their quick measures to stop traffic, saving dozens of lives. Had these officers delayed even seconds longer, more people would have died. He says there were at least 25 to 30 vehicles lined up behind each officer when the bridge collapsed. Nicole Skanga, CBS News, Baltimore. The U.S. Coast Guard says two temporary channels are expected to be cleared today to allow ships to get past the wreckage. They'll be mainly for response vessels. Well, we're starting the new work week and the new month with April showers, not the nicest of Mondays across the region. A live look through city cam will show the cloudy skies. We've had some rain showers here in the La Crosse area. You can see all the streets and sidewalks and parking lots are wet. And that's on uh, what you need to know. Periods of showers today may be mixed with snow showers in some spots. And then tomorrow, still a chance for some uh, light rain and snow showers. And even into Wednesday, some snow showers could linger, especially in eastern parts of the Vune area. Also, rather windy and temperatures will be cool for the first half of this week. So satellite radar showing the rain showers and the uh, most concentrated along the Interstate 90 corridor. And again, where temperatures are close to freezing, you could see some snowflakes mixed in, especially across the higher terrain of southeastern Minnesota. Otherwise, some lighter rain showers uh, near and just south of Eau Claire. Look at these temperatures, only 42 in Eau Claire, 38 in La Crosse, 36 in Preston and 44 in Prairie du Chien. Again, cloudy, cooler today. Those scattered rain showers perhaps mixed with some snowflakes and spots. Highs in La Crosse, uh, La Crosse around 43. I will have the rest of my eight-day forecast that's coming up in just a few minutes. We will see you then, Bill. Thank you. Convicted murderer Alex Murdaugh received another prison sentence today. A federal judge sentencing him to 40 years in prison for financial crimes involving the theft of millions of dollars from his law firm and clients. Last year, he pleaded guilty to nearly two dozen other charges of conspiracy, fraud, and money laundering. Murdaugh currently serving two life sentences for the murders of his wife and his 22-year-old son.
At his first royal event since his cancer diagnosis, King Charles attended Easter Sunday service at St. George's Chapel. He seemed upbeat as he greeted well-wishers in Windsor. The 75-year-old monarch has been out of the public eye while undergoing cancer treatment. It's been a chaotic year for the royals, with Princess Kate revealing her own battle with cancer last month after a whirlwind of media speculation about her health. Prince William and Kate skipped the royal Easter service this year. Their absence made for a smaller-than-usual royal royal family gathering. King Charles really wanted to have a slimmed down monarchy when he took took on the throne, but he never could have anticipated it slimming down to, to where it is now. Prince Harry and Meghan have attended the Easter service in past years, but not since they moved to the U.S. nearly four years ago after breaking ties with the royal family. Palace sources say the king's Easter appearance is an encouraging sign of how the monarch's treatment is progressing and the road ahead looks positive. The winners of this year's Best of La Crosse County Awards have been announced, starting with Blue Moon Restaurant winning the Best Places to Eat category. Berry Country Diner came in second, and Rosie's Cafe is the runner-up. For Best Chicken Wings, the Sports Nut take in first place, second place goes to Howie's on La Crosse, and third goes to Whiskey River. Hungry Peddler is the winner of Best Family Dining, with Crooked Pint Ale House taking second, and Chiotti's Italian Grill as the runner-up. In the best new restaurant category, first place goes to Food Dudes, Pizza Dolorosa winning second place, and the runner-up is Crossroads Bar and Grill. And finally, the winner of best restaurant overall is Red Pines Bar and Grill. Second place goes to the Freight House, and Love Child is the runner-up in that category. For a complete list of all Best of La Crosse County winners, you can head to bestoflacrossecounty.com. AT&T customers beware the personal information of more than 70 million customers has been breached and leaked on the dark web. Stay tuned for updates on how to protect your sensitive data after the break. Is your gravel or dirt driveway migrating into your yard? Then it's time to call North Central Paving. Specializing in paving, seal coating, repairs, crack filling, and new installations, North Central Paving can handle all your asphalt needs. Call 608-781-4423 today to get your free estimate. We forge steel bars that hold up bridges, propel ships, and send rockets into space. But for years, China's been lowballing their prices, so it's been tough to compete. We can't let China steal Wisconsin jobs, so I wrote a law to require American infrastructure projects use American iron and steel. Tammy Baldwin got President Trump to sign her Made in America bill. And then she got President Biden to make it permanent. I'm Tammy Baldwin. I approve this message. Tammy Baldwin has our back. At Benedictine Living Community La Crosse, assisted living is about the freedom to choose the things you want to do while leaving the chores and home maintenance behind. We provide you the independence you desire while offering assistance when you need it most. The freedom to live the way you choose. This year, start enjoying the life that you deserve. A life where you come first. Experience the Benedictine difference. Benedictine Assisted Living Community La Crosse. Live fully. Live well. People of another age, yep. Howdy doody time, the Ed Sullivan Show, the Mickey Mouse Club. You remember, getting in and out of that tub just isn't quite as easy as it once was. We make life easier for older folks like me. New walk-in shower, a personal shower, a seat if you like. Seriously, be safe. Call the board store. Let us make your bathroom safe and beautiful. Contact the board store today. A woman is someone who gets mad at you for something you did three years ago. Uh -huh. A woman is someone who makes you check every door and lock in the house after she just checked every door and lock in the house. I hear something. Honey, the only person who wants to kill you is already in the house. Contact North Central Paving to make your life smoother.
Welcome back. Serving up some good news for California fast food workers. As of today, the minimum wage will go up to $20 an hour. The law was passed last year, and for many, it'll mean a 25% raise. Restaurants operating inside of grocery stores are exempt, though, in addition to restaurants that make and sell bread as a standalone item. Some troubling news now for AT&T customers. The phone company announcing the personal information of more than 70 million customers was breached on the dark web. That includes information like social security numbers and mailing addresses. The company says it has reset the passcodes of current customers and will be notifying those whose personal information was leaked. According to AT&T, the data involved in the breach dates back to 2019 or even earlier. Tropical Foods is recalling more than 5,000 packs of these frozen dessert bars due to a salmonella risk. The product is the Helados Mexico Mini Cream Variety Pack. The recall covers packs marked best by October 11th, 2025. The company says the mango bars in the variety pack may have been contaminated with salmonella, which can be fatal in young children, the elderly, and others with weakened immune systems. No illnesses have been reported yet in connection with the recall. And it may be April 1st, but no April Fools here. Krispy Kreme has a donut deal to mark the day. Buy a dozen donuts today for a regular price and get a dozen original glazed for $4.01. In a concerning development, the CDC is reporting the U.S. witnessed the highest number of tuberculosis cases in a decade last year. Coming up, we'll take a closer look at what this means for public health. You never want to leave your kitchen by your cabinet. Spring forward on your new kitchen or bath projects. Visit our showroom and speak with one of our designers today. By your cabinets, Highway 16, West Salem. Luther High School, powerhouse in culture and academics. Our students are given the tools for high school academic success while also enjoying athletics, choir, and band. Our on-site industrial arts program provides advanced welding and advanced woodworking programs along with Industry 4.0 classes. Luther High School is a Wisconsin parental choice school. All families who apply to Luther receive tuition grants. Your Luther High School, Christ-centered education, encouraging and preparing students for life. For more information, go to lutherhigh.org or find us on Facebook at We Love Luther. Asher Lasting Exteriors is committed to craftsmanship, innovation, and outstanding customer service as Western Wisconsin's trusted retractable awning and solar screen experts. Sonesta retractable awnings and solar screens protect you from the harsh sun. With over 150 fabrics to choose from and the largest sizes available, you can create shade to match your home and style. Save up to 20% with zero down and no interest or payments for up to 18 months with Sonesta retractable awnings brought to you by Asher Lasting Exteriors. You never want to leave your kitchen by your cabinet. Spring forward on your new kitchen or bath projects. Visit our showroom and speak with one of our designers today. By your cabinets, Highway 16, West Salem. Not one, not two, but no less than six write-in candidates are running for the lacrosse school board. And there could be more. Tonight at 6, how the write-in process works and how to make sure your vote counts in the upcoming election. Tonight at 6. We have people, you know, in their 70s in our classes right now. Friday on News Now This Morning, we take an up-close look at the Mellow Martial Arts class and find out why it's more than just self-defense. You're not too old to do what you love. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention issuing an alert about an increase in illnesses caused by bacteria that can lead to meningitis and even death. 422 cases were reported last year, which is the most in a single year since 2014. Most of the infections come from a specific strain of bacteria that can be treated with antibiotics if it's caught early enough. The CDC also reporting that in 2023, the U.S. saw the most tuberculosis illnesses in a decade. 40 states reported an increase and rates were up among all age groups. TB cases are also rising around the globe. The World Health Organization says it was the second most infectious disease in 2022 after COVID-19.
The Department of Health and Human Services issuing new guidance for hospitals regarding consent. In a letter to teaching hospitals and medical schools, HSHS says doctors performing sensitive tests like pelvis or prostate exams must get signed consent from the patient if they are to be under anesthesia. It said patients should have the same opportunity to consent and participate in education, whether they're awake and fully clothed or not. The department says the new guidance is meant to clarify requirements for participants in Medicare and Medicaid programs. And children and teens who are overweight or obese are more likely to have high blood pressure as older adults. That's according to new research set to be presented at the European Congress on Obesity. Scientists use lifelong health data on people living in Sweden for the study and say their findings indicate that if blood pressure is even slightly elevated over many years, it can damage blood vessels, leading to possible cardiovascular and kidney disease. Those were some of the day's top health headlines. Here is a look now at City Cam 8, another gloomy day. Bill is up next with a look at our forecast. Save now during the Refresher Space Spring Sale at Carpets To Go. Now until April 30th, you can save on beautiful carpet, exquisite hardwoods, laminate, and tile. Plus, at Carpets To Go, you can get free estimates, design, and six months financing. Save now through April 30th during the Refresher Space Spring Sale at Carpets To Go. Whatever you want on your floor, Carpets To Go in Onalaska. If you've been injured in a car accident, call Schwabel Getz and Sieben today. Schwabel Getz and Sieben was in clear communication with me every step of the way. There was a ton of paperwork to complete. Not only are they taking care of the legal aspects, they're listening to you and they're showing empathy and they've helped so many people and so they know the journey and they're ready to walk it with you. You need an experienced attorney on your side. Schwabel Getz and Sieben. To everyone who enjoys a feel-good meal, we're crafting one for you, Wisconsin style. We're talking handcrafted, cooked to order, scooped to perfection goodness. More like greatness. <laughs> a snuggle up in the booth, share a bite kind of meal. A fill you up, heart and soul kind of meal. Come treat someone you love to a meal they're sure to love. One always serve with a smile. That comes from the heart. From Wisconsin with love. Welcome to the Is it time for new windows or doors? Contact the company who has done the research for you. The best windows and doors installed by the best people. Clear Choice Window and Home Solutions. The 8000 Plus app. Stream on your time. Welcome back. Well, April showers bring May flowers, right? Uh, well, we're starting the month of April with April showers, but it's kind of a chilly start to the month as well. Live look through CityCam will show the low clouds and some rain falling currently in downtown La Crosse. 43 the high so far today. That's probably uh, where we'll end up for the afternoon high. 34 the low. 53 and 23 are the averages. 82 and 7 are the records, and so far, just 0 0.05 inches of uh, rainfall, but we are adding to that as we speak. In fact, rain out at the airport, 38 degrees, 39 downtown. Winds out of the east at around 5 to 15. That is making it feel like 33 degrees, so be prepared for wet travel across the region this afternoon. Although in Eau Claire, as you can see here, you are dry, uh, mostly cloudy sky, 42 degrees with a wind chill factor of 36. Very well-defined frontal boundary down to the south here. Look at this uh, temperature difference, 70s to the south of it, and then 40s and 30s to the north of it. We're on the cool side of that front with temperatures locally ranging from the mid 30s to lower 40s, even a 44 down in Prairie du Chien. Winds out of the east, 5 to 15, gusting to 20 miles per hour, and that is causing some uh, chill conditions in terms of what it feels like this afternoon 
uh, generally in the 30s, although it feels like 27 in Viroqua and 29 in Preston. So a little radar tour showing the primarily rain showers across the region. You can see it's most concentrated along the I-90 corridor. Even some uh, thunder and lightning uh, just west of Dubuque there with some lightning strikes south of Prairie du Chien. Otherwise, mainly rain showers, maybe a few snowflakes or sleet pellets mixed in across the higher terrain of southeastern Minnesota over into Buffalo County. And this is all being caused by an area of low pressure kind of tracking along that frontal boundary, trying to lift it to the north a little bit. And that's the uh, cause for the rain showers today, maybe mixed with snowflakes at times, uh, especially into tonight. Sky Tracker shows periods of rain this afternoon and then some rain and snow showers overnight tonight. Not really expecting much in the way of accumulation and the road should primarily stay wet, but watch for some slick spots if you do encounter some snow showers just in case. And then into Tuesday, still some rain and snow showers. Then that system kind of stalls over the central Great Lakes and I've had to introduce some lingering snow showers into the day on Wednesday, especially especially in the eastern half of the viewing area. Quite windy on Wednesday as well. Rain tracker through Tuesday evening showing uh, perhaps totals around a half an inch or less. And zone forecast showing highs today. Not all that high for the first part of April. Low to mid 40s in many spots, even some upper 30s in some locations. And that will take us all across all 65 of our communities, maybe some mid to upper 40s. Uh, far south. So my forecast for this Monday afternoon, cloudy, cooler, those rain showers, maybe some snowflakes in spots, a high of 43 in the cross. Tonight, chance of rain and snow showers, lows just above freezing, right around 33. Still some rain and snow showers tomorrow, 43, those lingering snow showers and windy on Wednesday, 44. Still breezy Thursday, 50, and then we do start to warm upper uh, 50s for the weekend. Maybe some small chances for showers Sunday night through Tuesday, but warmer with highs back in the 60s. Alexandra. All right, looking forward to that. Thank you, Bill. Coming up, discover how a Kansas brewery and animal shelter are joining forces to feature adorable pets on beer cans, all while raising funds for a possum cause. We'll tell you more after the break. Mike Glassmaker enjoys working at Park Bank because he can help with all aspects of his customers' banking needs. Mike enjoys the heat of brats, burgers, and ribs, and anything he can fit on his grill. So visit Mike at Park Bank in La Crosse to talk about your banking needs. I'm traveling the country today just talking to everyday Americans. Seeing if they'll make the switch from fossil fuels to geothermal heating and cooling. Have you ever considered using geothermal to fight climate change? No. If somebody said we were going to be frozen over by now, what do you see? Well, I did an energy audit on your house. Do you want to see it? Can we turn the clock back? Save me all this money? It sounds like I've convinced you to consider the fight against climate change. That's a secondary benefit, but I mean, you know, I don't mind saving 40 grand. Get solar and get saving with Olson Solar Energy in the La Crosse area. When you're talking to someone and you call someone at Olson Solar, it's not someone in Utah, it's not someone in California, it is someone local right here. By doing that, you know, we control the entire process. So we control the project management, we control the design, we control the installation, the electric, the hookup, permitting, and, and that really sets us apart. Stop into our location near you or give us a call and ask us about our Earth Day promo. Your home, a place of comfort and safety, could be trying to tell you something. Interior cracks, sloping floors, hard to open doors and windows are all signals of foundation failure that you can't ignore. At American Waterworks, we use modern techniques and warranted solutions to restore your peace of mind in your home. After all, your home's foundation issues won't get better with time, but it will with our proven solutions. Choose confidence, choose reliability, choose American Waterworks. There's been a lot of interest in interest these days. Interest is growing in our rewards-based Kasasa checking account with 3.55 annual percentage yield. Interested? Contact us at Park Bank. Member FDIC. Download the News 8000 app today. Thank you for watching News 8 Now. Expect more. There's an interesting contest in Kansas that brings together beer, pets, and art, and the effort is all for a good cause. Alan Shope reports.
We always really like the ones where people try to recreate our logo. There's a reason the Lawrence Beer Company uses this cute little pup in their marketing campaign. We love to use that to kind of champion any causes we believe in. And Matt says one of those causes, Lawrence Humane Society. There's not a better group to be associated with. So when the shelter approached them about putting dogs and cats on beer cans, they were all in. And what goes better than, than beer and dogs together, right? The shelter starting a contest for the month of March. Folks can submit pictures of their animals and people can vote on them. The ones with the most amount of votes end up here. Winning dog and the winning cat get to be on the crowlers for Lawrence Beer Company all summer long. It's called the cutest crowler contest. The goal raised money for the animals at the shelter and it's been pretty popular. We could not do half of what we do without all of our supporters. A local Lawrence artist takes the winning photo and makes it into art for the beer can. It's not too late to enter. It's not too late to vote for your favorites. Lawrence Humane says it's the third year of the contest that raised more than $30,000 last year. Also the winners get a framed portrait of their pet by that artist. And that's something to cheers to. The contest ends Sunday at midnight. The Lawrence Humane Society suggests going to their Facebook page or Instagram pages to find all of the links to the contest if you want to vote. Stay with us. We'll have one more check of your forecast when we come back. Charge your career with a welding position at Chart Industries. Do you have a year or more of welding experience? Starting wages up to $35 per hour. We have the job for you. Apply today at jobs.chartindustries.com. At Benedictine Living Community La Crosse, assisted living is about the freedom to choose the things you want to do while leaving the chores and home maintenance behind. We provide you the independence you desire while offering assistance when you need it most. The freedom to live the way you choose. This year, start enjoying the life that you deserve. A life where you come first. Experience the Benedictine difference. Benedictine Assisted Living Community La Crosse. Live fully. Live well. Maxwell White, done right. Looking to remodel your bath or shower? Call the professionals at Maxwell White. Our trained and licensed technicians will come to your home and install or replace your unit in as little as one day. Taking care of you and your home with speed and efficiency without sacrificing quality. Let the professionals at Maxwell White tackle your next bathroom project. 7864004. Now offering financing on repairs and projects of all sizes. Toma Health Warrens Clinic provides convenient care for minor illnesses and injuries. We offer same day and next day appointments, mostly for urgent care, non-life-threatening conditions. Things like colds, coughs, urine infections, sore throat, ear infections. The staff are completely awesome. We are a small group and so we're very much a family and we hope that when people come they feel that same environment as well. Toma Health Warrens Clinic offers convenient quality care when you need it most. Charge your career with a welding position at Chart Industries. Do you have a year or more of welding experience? Starting wages up to $35 per hour. We have the job for you. Apply today at jobs.chartindustries.com. The First Warren Weather App. Download it today. Well, April starting with some April showers, also some rather cool temperatures across the region. So be prepared for the wet weather this afternoon and even into tonight. Still some rain showers, maybe mix with some snow showers in spots. Highs this afternoon, 43. Tomorrow, still some rain and snow showers, even lingering snow showers into Wednesday with highs in the low to mid 40s and then a gradual warming trend towards the weekend. All right, Bill. Yeah, it is a Monday out there for sure. Thanks for joining us. We will see you back here tonight.